Hello and welcome. We have a very special versus coming up for you. There was a time when we cricket mad journalists used to say we've run out of superlatives. But we only used that phrase for a certain man who's known as the god of cricket, Sachin Tendulkar. Then came Virat Kohli, a boy who fought the death of his father. The label of being aggressive and social media attacks at his wife to be. The number of cricket critics who are now claiming Virat will break all of Sachin's records have more to write about today. The man from West Delhi is undoubtedly one of the world's best sportsmen currently, possibly one of the best cricketers ever produced, arguably the best ODI batsman ever, and has now achieved what even Sachin did not. Virat Kohli has won the ICC's three biggest awards, ICC Cricketer of the Year, Test Player of the Year, and ODI Player of the Year. No cricketer has ever managed this extraordinary feat. Talking about Sharda Ugra, senior uh, cricket uh, journalist who I've had the pleasure of uh, watching a few test matches with. Atul Vasan, who needs no introduction from a, a cricketer. And also Sanjay Jha, who's uh, been a journalist and the founder of CricketNext.com. Thanks so much, all of you, for joining me. Uh, you know, it's one of those days where we don't have any critical questions to ask you. So you're going to have a free ride. Enjoy yourselves. <laughs> uh, Atul, I'm going to start with you because uh, I'm going to ask you the question that I that you asked me when we were talking earlier about Virat's phenomenal achievement. And the question was, how does Virat Kohli even motivate himself now? Because he's won everything, he's done everything. But there is a certain man called Sachin Tendulkar's records around there somewhere. Would you say that's the motivation there? Well, you know, I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's coming out of my ears now. This discussion uh, went on for many years. Was Tendulkar, is Tendulkar better than uh, Don Bradman because he's got more uh, aggregate runs and he's played one-day cricket and all that. I think it's, it's unfair to compare batsmen from different eras. But the question is, uh, were you the best batsman of your age? And then we can do hands down and it's Virat Kohli. He's got uh, no comparison at all. Even in last year, actually, there's a big uh, moment of pride for all of us that he has uh, sweeped all the records. But even last year, he was the Cricketer of the Year and he was ODI Player of the Year. Only Steve Smith took that uh, 2017 Test Player of the Year. He's not playing this year. So probably he, Virat had an easier run. And when you say in the contemporary cricket, you could say uh, A.B. De Villiers is falling behind and Steve Smith and Virat Kohli. But Virat Kohli, his, his commitment and more so because he's captain also and the record of the Indian team also. So if you look at the whole package in totality, this guy is, is, from, uh, is from Mars. All right. Uh, Sanjay Jha, I have to ask you this. When, it when you talk about Virat Kohli, you talk about his phenomenal rise uh, from the day his father died and he continued to play Ranji Trophy cricket uh, to the day when he uh, has gone ahead and helped India win a first test series in Australia. What stands out for you the most in Virat Kohli's phenomenal rise? Uh, you know, firstly, let me tell you, Amitoj, it's great to be back on a cricket show after almost uh, several years and good to, have you back. to see my good friends Atul and Sharda on the program. To be honest, I learned a lot of my politics from cricket, but jokes aside, you know, you know what makes Virat Kohli a truly an outstanding story, in my opinion, is the fact that, you know, he's also been the captain of what is clearly emerging as the most successful team in both formats of cricket. Now, it's very easy as a cynic for many people to say that the Australian team, the great Australian team, seems to be in some kind of a terminal decline. Or that fact that the West Indies have been ravaged by you know, the disruptions in their, the, their management of cricket. But overall, there is no denying that the Indian cricket is seeing its renaissance period. And I think for someone like Virat Kohli, very, very considered to be very brash, he's, he can be uh, at times you know, a very in your face and a lot of people have been critical of all that. But for him to be able to create a team of very hungry people uh, is, is an uh, amazing achievement. Don't forget that these guys also play a lot of T20 cricket, which is a totally contrasting format that did not exist when right. Sachin became the greatest ever. So you right. have today a Virat Kohli with a sensational average of, I think, around 55 last yes. year. Uh, he's yeah. had an average of over 100 in ODIs. He's doing well also in T20s. He's also the captain. I think, right. you know, in my okay. opinion, uh, that's a very eclectic mix. It's not easy. Right. You Shada, can't make these transitions, uh, you know, very effortlessly. So I, okay. when, I look at, when I look at Virat Kohli, as, you know, I have been following cricket, of course, not with the same degree of, you know, intensive research that I was doing before. But, you know, as someone who's always had a great passionate interest in the fortunes of a game, I believe where Virat has made a difference is the fact that he just comes there with a hunger and belief that he's going to win every time he right. steps okay. onto the field. Okay. I think that's an attitudinal thing. The yeah, other absolutely. big difference absolutely. is probably the bench strength. I've never okay. seen an Indian team which has such an extraordinary bench strength. 
I mean, look at the fact that he has got a Rohit Sharma in one day and a Chiteshwar Pujara in the tests. Now, these are formidable players who give him remarkable flexibility to play around with, you know, the team composition or the batting order. And not to forget that he still has Dhoni somewhere in the one-day and the T20 format. Right. But right. all said okay. and done, Virat Kohli is turning out to be a genius. You know, I belong to the Sachin Tendulkar era of, of cricket. And when he retired, and many of us felt, will Sachin Tendulkar's impregnable record ever be smashed? The 39 okay. one-day hundreds already, I have a feeling Sachin's record in one days is in <coughs> certainly going to be eclipsed. Test cricket, I'm not so sure. Okay. All right. Thanks so much, Sanjay Jha. Uh, Shada, I would love to come to you with so many questions, but I'm going to just hold off on that because Bishan Singh Bedi, former Indian captain, who is perhaps, uh, I mean, he's just uh, one of those voices that you can't miss out on in a situation like this. Uh, Bishan Paji, thank you so much for joining us. I just want to ask you, what is your first reaction to what Virat Kohli's achievements have been? All three awards swept by him. Vishen Singh Bedi, sir, can you hear me? Hello? Yes, sir. I, was just, I, I just wanted to get your first reaction on, on Virat's phenomenal achievement, winning all three awards, uh, sweeping the ICC awards. Well, we don't really react to a situation like this. We respond. And uh, I like to think it's a terrific moment for Virat, Virat Kohli personally and a great moment for Indian cricket. And personally, if you ask me, I'm, I'm very excited that I, I'm living to see, see it all. And I, have, uh, I haven't seen any cricketer, you know, well, played a fair amount, but uh, I haven't seen anybody as intense as Virat Kohli. And his intensity, I mean, it's frightening, it must be for his belief. Catch up with him. It is not. It's not an easy task. And uh, I, I, I sometimes wonder how long can he carry on like this? It's, uh, it's quite a. Uh, <laughs> I would like to express it. No, I, I find it almost impossible that he can punish his body so intensely and give it a. It's a wonderful expression, honestly. This is uh, this is a great, great moment for Indian cricket. Honestly, it really is. And I'd like to congratulate the little fella. I hope he continues with this. And Indian cricket needs him more now than ever before. How do you think he can motivate himself to go on the way he's going on? Oh. Well, that is something which, uh, you know, this... Something is ingrained in it. I, I would like, I honestly would like to think there is some spiritual power which is uh, um, helping um, start, you know, get to the density that he has within himself. But I, I, I look around, the rest of the team is, is miles behind. You know, where when you look at his uh, intensity, when he's training or his feeling or, his, you know, batting, I, I only hope, I wish he could, you know, control his uh, um, physical expressions on the field sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes. Because that is inspired. Uh, you see, Virat himself suggests that his, his hero is uh, Roger Federer. Okay? But there is somewhere along the line, so, you know, he must take a leaf out of Roger Federer's book, How to Remain Humble. Right. Thank you so much for joining us and giving us your comments and congratulating Virat. I'm sure it means the world to him and, and I'm sure he'll be listening to the advice that comes from someone like you. Sharda, uh, you've uh, followed uh, Virat from the time that he was a little boy. Uh, I want to just ask you about him. What's, wh what is it that, that will actually ensure uh, that he is able to find that balance of continuing to, being, uh, to be aggressive and at the same time doing what... Uh, someone like Abhishan Bedi has advised him to do, which is take a leaf out of Roger Federer's book. How does he manage to do both, or can he even do that, according to you? Um, mind read anyone on those and to say, okay, what he's going to do, but I, I think uh, what will keep him going, uh, you know, physically as well as uh, uh, temperamentally and uh, his game-wise, 
is just how much he wants to win and what he wants to achieve. Uh, and almost you can, uh, when you watch him uh, play, particularly in, in one day cricket, sometimes you see him uh, pulling off a chase almost in a manner that is, uh, you know, that he knows how it's done and he just do it without any fuss. And all of us grew up in this generation where if an Indian team chasing in 50 overs used to give us sort of, you know, heartburn and sweats and, you know, oh God, what are we going to do? I'm going to manage. Uh, and Virat sort of turned around and made that uh, completely different. I don't think any other player could have been. Uh, you know, cricketer of the year, all the amount of runs that he was able to score. Um, it's basically how he now looks on this sort of, this has been his rise, you know, it's, it's how he keeps himself at a level uh, so competitively and sort of in, in his head. And I think being captain is something that will drive that and fuel it. And, and uh, you know, and, and being a captain, like he said uh, after the series, uh, make Indian team dominant in, in world cricket, that kind of ambition will fuel him to keep going. Uh, that you can hope. You're just wondering how long, you know, is he going to burn out? So he's not old at all. You know, he's, he's just coming into his own virtually as a batsman. And okay. so, so it, it, I think it's ambition and competitiveness and, and sort of mission to achieve that he can go. Has any uh, uh, foreign cricket journalist uh, written to you and said, oh, but uh, Steve Smith was not playing this year because he was suspended? No, no, no one has said that for the simple reason that I think we are just celebrating so loudly and noisily that we are not even listening to what they are saying. I mean, teams today who, who else turns up on the park to play there, it, it really doesn't, uh, you know, I have played in Australia when all the Packers stars were gone and they didn't win the series. In the semi, it wasn't, uh, I mean, okay. tough luck that Steve Smith and uh, David Warner were not there. The series would have been different, it may not have been different, but the Indian team played whom they had to play and, and they dominated them. You know, it wasn't right. like that they were sort of scratching around for minor victories and so on. They dominated. Uh, Atul, I have to ask you, uh, we've been talking about Virat for years now. <clears throat> the thing is that when you talk about Virat, you have to look at how he's grown from his, from his father's death to... Uh, the ICC World Cup debut century, the first man to score a century uh, on his ICC World Cup debut, going ahead and then uh, you know doing what he did in, uh, as a as a chasing batsman. No cricketer in the world has ever been able to do what he does while chasing, uh, and then going ahead, uh, you know, taking on the not only the the adulation of the country, becoming a god in his own right, uh, and also getting married to somebody who receives so much attention anyway. And then becoming captain, then going to Australia, doing so many things. I mean, where does, out of all of this, what is it that stands out for you most that, that shows you that this man is made of extraordinary character? <clears throat> See, I've, I've been seeing him since he was 12, 14. He used to come to our academy. I was a patron. And then I became the chairman of Selector for Delhi. And when uh, uh, he was picked that year, and, and in fact, his coach, a very dear friend of mine, used to come and say, you got to select him this year. I said, you don't have to because this guy is making the progress the way he played in under 19. So I've seen him from there. Probably, you know, his streak of uh, over-aggressiveness and being a Punjabi uh, West Delhi boy uh, took over him for a bit when the IPL came around and he admits to it. And that's the time when he got left out of the team. And I think that's where he really matured. And from every step from there on, uh, you can see his stature, his, his stability, um, uh, you know, and I, I must say that his focus uh, has been tremendous. He realized that he had the chance to become something special. Uh, probably he didn't know that he, he was going to achieve so much. And at that point, but once you reach a level, then you put your target slightly ahead and then you keep on chasing it. So I think his targets uh, are somewhere just within the reach, but he just pushes themselves a little, little, but, little bit up. But from where he goes from here is a big question, you know, I think that World Cup trophy in his hand uh, in, in, come this summer in England would be uh, the cake. He has won the World Cup before, but as a captain, as a leader. And, and Sanjay Jha said that uh, he has created a team. I don't think so. I think we must complement the board and the cricket system in India that we are dominating because of the system, not just because of individual brilliance from Virat and all. Uh, the, the players who are making the grade now are ready-made players. And I think it's maturity of Virat, I must say, to keep along players like Chateshwar Pujara, who are diametrically opposite to his character and not force them to be uh, impetuous like him and be aggressive like him uh, and not putting pressure on them and let them play the game the way and, and realize that how they add value to the big picture. I think that's where uh, the leader Virat Kohli stands out for me.
Yeah, uh, when you talk about Chetesh with Pajara, he also tweeted about Virat Kohli. Really delighted to know that uh, Kohli has taken home all the top honors of the ICC Awards. Many congratulations to you, he said. We're going to uh, talk more about this uh, with Sanjay Jha, Tulwasan, uh, Shah Daugra. We need to take a short break. We are celebrating the man, the legend, perhaps in the future, the myth, Virat Kohli. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back. We're celebrating the man, uh, the legend, Virat Kohli. Uh, I just want to go straight across to Sanjay Jha, and I have a question for you, uh, Mr. Jha. The fact that Cheteshwar Pujara has been uh, not uh, included in the team that Virat Kohli will be captaining, the ICC Test Team of the Year, is that a surprise for you? And what do you have to say about those who will say that Steve Smith is somebody who uh, perhaps would have taken at least one of these three awards if he was playing? Well, I think Pujara was uh, simply outstanding in Australia. I think uh, you almost found uh, shades reminiscent of uh, Rahul Dravid and the comparisons with the wall were, I thought, fairly legitimate. Uh, but, you know, I think end of day, uh, the ICC has its own criteria. I think the team they've selected looks fairly formidable. Uh, I want to make one point that you asked me that I couldn't answer earlier on Virat. You see, anybody who's lost a parent, uh, you know, it's a devastating experience. You know, I lost my, my parents much later in life and, you know, it still is a very, very hard, it knocks you out. It's, it's, it's a tough, it's an emotionally excruciating, uh, you know, experience. I think for Virat Kohli to have gone through at such a young age, you know, somewhere these things steal you up, they toughen you up, you know what loss is. And, you know, therefore, when Mr. Bishan Bedi rightly pointed out that how long will this great, great run last? Will this golden phase be forever? The answer is no. Even Roger Federer has lost in the Australian Open, has lost in the US Open and has had a slightly disappointing season. It's going to happen to Virat as well. But you look at the man's character, I think what you really admire about him, Avinoj, right. is the fact that he, I think, understands loss and failure. And I do think that his inner character will see him through even difficult times in the days ahead. But at the moment, we can celebrate that we got a man at the top who is in great personal form and definitely has inspired his teammates to believe that India can win anything, anytime, anywhere. All right. Well, thanks so much for that, uh, Sanjada. Sharda Ogra, I have one final question. I'm not asking you this uh, because uh, you're a woman. I'm only asking you this because you've been following Virat, and I know this like perhaps nobody has. Uh, you know, he has improved ever since Anushka has come into his life. And... Uh, it's, it's, it's phenomenal, the role, and he's credited a lot of his performances for that. Uh, for, you know, he's credited a lot of his performances to her. What would you say uh, about his personal life and all that you've seen him do, diet, workout, marriage, anything? What would you say about that role? I think he's uh, understood what he has to do as a professional athlete. And, uh, you know, he has a very high-profile marriage with a very, very high-profile uh, sort of movie star. And uh, he has just made it work effortlessly. I think one of the real glimpses of the kind of person uh, that he has become uh, came out when he like stood up uh, and he just attacked all the trolls who had gone after Anushka for, for ridiculous reasons. Right. And uh, I think that was quite admirable that he did it with, uh, you know, uh, uh, sort of without fearing anything or, or, or anyone. And uh, it's it, this, uh, and he is, how he handles the fact that he is in a high profile marriage is that I, I, again, like I said, you can't read your mind, but he seems to have a very clear uh, sort of thought process about how, how to go about this, that, right. you know, uh, Shada, so how to compartmentalize. Out of time. I would have loved to, to, to listen to you a little bit more. I just want to end the show with a saying that Diana Dalji has just sent NETV a message. Uh, a message of congratulations for Virat Kohli. She is the com one of the members of the Committee of Administrators and former Women's Cricketer of India, of course. She said that would like to congratulate Virat on, his great, uh, on this great achievement. And I also want to end uh, the show, uh, as she says, wish him and teams, both men and women, all the best for New Zealand. I also want to end the show by saying that we might have another uh, Virat Kohli-type cricketer in the making because ICC has recognized Rishabh Pant as the Emerging Player of the Year. So that is something we need to take away. Uh, to all my guests, thanks so much for watching. It has been a special show that we've brought to you and it's all about Virat Kohli. We'll be looking ahead to Rishabh Pant too in the future. Thanks so much for watching.